Hey everybody, it's just us. So I'm going to show you a quick and simple way of setting up different audio tracks for OBS. So let me bring OBS over here for you guys. So as you can see, I have my microphone, my desktop audio, Streamlabs audio, and Discord audio. All it would be controlled right here in Streamlabs. So that way, if the game's too loud, I can just adjust it and do things right here in Streamlabs OBS. So, the way you want to set this up is you can come over to VB Audio Software, link is down in the description, and download this cable. Once you download it, just come up to your pack and open the folder. Now, in here, you'll see two options. VB Cable Setup, VB Cable Setup X64. If you're not sure what your system is, come over to the bottom, type in My. You'll get this PC, right click, go to properties, and look at system type. I have a 64 bit operating system. You may have a 32 bit. If you have a 32, please use the regular setup. If you have a 64, go ahead and use this setup. It will make the system work a lot better for you. After it is installed, you can go ahead and close this and exit the website and come down to your task bar. On your taskbar, you want to go ahead and right click this speaker, open your sound settings, and it will bring up this menu here. Once you're at this menu, go ahead and click sound control panel. It will bring up this little menu here. Now, once you're in here, you'll see symbols like these. Right now, I've went ahead and changed mine, but I have voice mod virtual audio device. Now, when you download, you only get one. So I do recommend that you come scroll down. And you just got to donate a little bit of money and you can get extra cables. You can get up to five. So you have the original that you download for free. And then you just pay a little bit of money and you can get A, B, and C, and D. Once you have the amount of cables you want, all you got to do is come back over here to the sound. Come through and find your audio cable A, audio cable B, C, D if you bought those, and your original, your regular. Go ahead. And give them names for the devices that you want to put them under. Now, this will give you full control of this device alone. As you can see, I also named one desktop. You do not have to do this, but I recommend you do because it will keep the audio separated even for everyone else. So instead of having to use like five, five different audio cables, I only had to use three extra or three total. Sorry. So once you chose your cables and gave them names, Come over to recordings and find the exact same cables and give them the exact same name. So I'll show you. VB audio cable A, I named desktop. B, Discord. Uh, just a regular old first standard one. Streamlabs. Same thing over here. Desktop, Discord, Streamlabs. Now once you do that, go ahead and right click on these devices. Go to properties. Listen. Listen to this device. And you want to set the default playback device as your headset you're currently using. Once that's set up on all on all the uh, virtual audio cables you have, to make sure I show you guys, I have it set for all cables. Come back to your play playback devices. Now, if you are changing your desktop audio, like I did, just go ahead and right click on the device. Set as default communication and default. Uh, device. So again, default device, default communication for your desktop audio. Once you're done with that, you can go ahead and close this. Come back to this very first panel and go to app volume and device preferences. Now, up here, you have your master volume. I recommend this again. If you change your desktop to a virtual audio cable, go ahead and select it for this output. Then come down to here. At the current moment, uh, Discord's not open, so let me re let me get that back open for you. Now, there's two ways of doing this. You can come to the device settings itself within the application and change the output device, or you can come to this and change it the output device. I recommend you do either this one or both. Both is a safer route. 
and then as well for my Streamlab chatbot. So this is Streamlabs chatbot. I have music to play through here and my notifications. And just come down to settings. And then right now my device, my audio device isn't connected, but Streamlabs. So there you go. Everything will come out through this here. And again, I don't recommend that you just do this. I recommend you either do this one or both. Not just not just this. Because this can actually change to the default device. And if you have this set up like this, this is a default device. So it will always go to this, even after a re reboot of your computer. All right. And that's it for this part. You have now set up the virtual audio cables to route through these virtual cables. So you don't have to touch anything else to do with that. Now, if you're using Streamlabs OBS and you actually want to have each of the audios over here to be controlled, just come down to your settings, go to your audio, and this is how I set it up. Desktop audio device is my virtual audio cable A, which is my desktop. Audio device B is going to be, or sorry, my regular audio cable is going to be desktop audio 2. Now, with this, it only has two desktop audios and three microphones. So what I did was my actual microphone that I'm currently speaking to you with is my primary device. My secondary is Discord. Since I had to deal with voices, I thought, hell, Discord would be a good option. And then you have one spare for a third cable. Now, once that's done, make sure it's all set up. And come down to output. Now, when streaming, you have to select a audio track. Make that audio track one. Okay. And if you're going to be recording, you can come down and you can change this to audio track two, three, four, five, and six. If you have five outputs, okay. Then you can go ahead and close that. Now come over and open audio settings. Now, as you can see, since when I'm streaming, I have the audio play on each track for track one. So that way the stream will get all the audio. But when I'm recording, I have it record track two, track three, track four, track five. And I don't have to worry about capturing the audio because they're all in separate tracks. Now, if you say that you want to have your desktop and your microphone synced, just, make, just put them on the same track. And it will record both audios on the same track. And that's pretty much how you set that up. So, this is going to be the end of the video, guys. I greatly appreciate you watching. I hope that was very helpful. If you have any questions, please ask me in Discord. If I wasn't clear about anything, please let me know. I can go ahead and adjust what I was saying. Um, but this is one of my first tutorials, so I hope you all enjoyed. Have yourself a great day. And until next time, take it easy and stay safe. See ya!